Hey there, everybody. Kendall here. Happy October 1st. Happy month of pumpkins, ghouls, goblins, and all those things that like to lurk in the dark and scare us. Those shadow, those shadow creatures that tend to be all over our lives, right? So since this is Mindful Monday and it's kind of a little manic for me. I have been all over the place. I have done three new client appointments today and did a couple coaching calls with people, um, chatted with my attorney, went to the doctor with my little ones, uh, did a whole bunch of shopping for the month of October, of course, and then came home and had to go hang up the spooky dude behind me and a whole bunch of skeletons and pumpkins all over my house. As you can see, my front door, it is looking a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more Halloween filled, but now I've got to go and my OCD is kicking up and now I've got to go and trim some bushes and go buy like seven or eight pumpkins. So I think it's, it's definitely pumpkin patch time this next weekend for sure with my munchkins, but with all the crazies and with everything that's going on and i'm sure with everybody that's kind of like that same thing fall is here it is definitely a change in energy there is you know so much going on in in our lives at this time of the year holiday season is upon us there's santa at the store i couldn't believe that like there's halloween thanksgiving and christmas stuff all right next to each other it just keeps i swear the older i get the more the more everything just kind of gets kind of combobbled together there at this time of the year but I do love this time of the year I love the holiday season and all the mystery and magic that goes with it with that said I thought you know since I just got done hanging up these creepy things and putting skeletons that that creak and crawl and yell at you as you walk by um, by my front door here and everything I thought you know this is a great time to discuss some of the things that kind of lurk behind us. And what I'm talking about there is the things from our past that lurk behind us that actually kind of like much like something spooky if we were going through, you know, like a like a graveyard and it was a horror movie, you know, and the hands would be coming up from from the graves from the ground and everything and like grabbing a hold of our ankles. Then we have these things in our past that do just that they come up out of nowhere and they grab a hold of us by our ankles by our legs by our arms and they pull us back and they slow us down and they prevent us from moving forward or they cast fear into our lives which make us what they make us perceive that something is going to come and get us that there's something that's going to you know evil that's going to happen something horrible that's going to happen so we walk around in total fear worry anxiety and to a point that we can't even really make the moves that we need to make in our life because of these things that are actually from our past but they're lurking there and they're creating the shadow into our present moment and if we allow it they even even shadow into our future moments which is a bunch of bullshit because the future is not here until the future gets here but what do we do we tend to have anxiety over the future right we worry about our past we have anxiety about our future and we completely miss the present moment a lot of that happens because we are dealing with this stuff that is just lurking behind us like this guy right behind me right he's just like hanging out creepy crawly in the tree well, we have all these creepy crawlies in our life that hang out and just prevent us from moving forward. So my question to you, my question to you right now is what are those things? Here comes kids and a dog and they're going to attack me. All right, all right, dog. Okay, there we go. See, here, I'll show you. This is what you're saying. That's my 21 year old daughter with my five year old son and her dog, her dog who just attacked me. All right, where was I? All right, the things that are lurking and how they prevent us, right? So the question that I have for you to think that I want you to ask yourself today is what are the things that you perceive to be in your present moment as fears, worries, doubts, anxieties, things that are really right there in the forefront of your life that you tend to get really worked up on and 
Is it true? Are they really there? Or is it actually something coming from our past, from your past that is lurking and actually not even alive anymore? It's just there. It's a figment of your imagination, potentially. It's a shadow from the past that's coming into your present moment that's causing this doubt, that's causing this fear. Ask yourself, in those moments where you are actually captivated by that fear, by that worry, by that anxiety, I want you just to slow the fuck down and I want you to ask yourself, is this truly the reality of this moment? Or is this something that is coming up from my past that is just trying to make itself my present moment again? So am I hitting the repeat button? That's kind of what you need to look at here. Are you hitting the repeat button on the way you're feeling, looking at, or experiencing a situation? Is it really there or is it just something that you got caught up in and they're kind of dragging along like an old skeleton from your closet that's trying to drag itself out and it's not even there. Ask yourself that because I can tell you what folks, if you just slow down and you ask yourself if it's really there or not, what you're gonna find out is probably at least 80% of the time, if not more, if not more, it's not there. It's not there. Your present moment's probably pretty fucking amazing. And because it's so amazing, you're actually having this, this success of fear of success, fear of the fear of the joy, fear of the beauty, fear of the connection, fear of this, fear of that, of the good shit. Fear of the good shit moment happens. And what happens then is that you start creating, creating fake, scary stuff. So look at it, ask yourself, is it true? Is it not? Think about all the spooky things that are hanging around at this time of the year, realizing it's really not real, right? It's all just a figment of our imagination, creation, and all that good stuff. So, um, and my other daughter is now texting me. <laughs> um, and if you have any any questions about the, the fear and worry, just say, is this true? Is this truly a reality for right now? Okay, guys, since I'm getting horribly interrupted and sidetracked, which is true, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. You can follow me at www.kendallwilliams.com. And as always, stop existing and start living. Love you guys. Catch you tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe catch you tomorrow. If my phone